Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway home on this Saturday afternoon. Morgan State University, Lady Bear basketball. Lady Bears on the home hardwood. As a matter of fact, their final regular season home game. Taking on the Coppin State University Eagles. And for Morgan State, one senior playing her final home game today. A young lady that has made quite the imprint on the Lady Bear program from the moment she set foot on campus and continues to climb the charts in terms of scoring leaders and other statistical categories at Morgan State University. She has been a Lady Bear in every sense of the word. She is Tracy Carrington, and she joins us here at the half. Tracy, we appreciate you taking some time to talk to us as uh, you are rounding out not only your your home games here at Morgan State, your career indeed at Morgan State is rounding to a conclusion. Let's uh, let's begin at the beginning. Uh, when you first made the decision to come to Morgan State University to pursue your collegiate degree in college basketball, uh, what led you to Cold Spring Lane and Helena Road and Morgan State University? Man, um, first and foremost, I just want to say God works in mysterious ways. Four years ago, I didn't think that I would be at Morgan State University because um, I was born and raised in Baltimore. Never had the intent to go to school at home. Wanted to get away and explore things outside of Baltimore. I've never been outside of Baltimore um, other than AU, nationals, and things of that nature. So, um, But I have been blessed. Um, I, I came here. Coach Bees was an alumni at my high school, Dundalk High School. He's in the um, Hall of Fame at my high school. Um, and fortunately, I was just playing high school, and he came to one of my games, and he showed interest in me there. And um, unfortunately, in high schools, towards my senior year, some of my grades were came up kind of short. SAT scores were kind of short. So um, I ended up at Morgan. And um, I wouldn't say that I, – I don't say that sadly. I say that gladly because I think me committing to Morgan is one of the best decisions I made in my life. Um it's been a remarkable four years here, a memorable four years. It's made me the, the woman that I am now. I came here when I was 17 years old. Um, I came here in the CASA program. I had just graduated high school, and a week later I joined the CASA program. It was to better help me with my grades and to get admitted into Morgan State University. Um, they gave me the opportunity to attend CASA, um, which, again, is a program for high school students who didn't qualify for the SAT scores. They gave us another opportunity to um, raise our grades up and be admitted into Morgan State University. So from that um, point forward, when they presented me with the CASA program, that was like they were giving me a chance that nobody else gave me. So they showed their loyalty there, and then I showed my loyalty back, and I went on and committed. And ever since then, it's just been a remarkable four years here. So. Let's go back to uh, the first year at Morgan State University and uh, the first game. I remember, uh, I guess it was 2011, November of 2011, when you first put on the Lady Bear uniform in a competitive environment. I think it was against uh, Bowie State. I think you had uh, like a double-double. I think it was 21 points, 10-11 rebounds. What's the biggest difference between that Tracy Carrington today and the Tracy Carrington that set foot on this campus four years ago against Bowie, both athletically and personally. Um, it's a it's a huge difference. Um, that Tracy was more. I would say that Tracy was more um, naive, um, a little bit more attentive, not attentive to what's going on around me. I would just didn't really understand it. I just just wanted to play. This Tracy, I'm a little bit more patient, um, of course, a little bit more mature. I let the game come to me. Um, I'm getting a little older. Um, four years of college basketball is really, is really having an effect on my body now. Um, I always heard it coming into college, but been here four years and playing as many games as I played and never really had a big injury up until this year. Things has become more mentally strong. Uh, harder for me. Decision making has become just a little bit more harder. Um, but despite everything, nothing's really changed but just my decision making and my level of maturity and experience. I would say the experience here has um, definitely made me grow better as a person, not only as a player but as a person and as a leader because I never really knew what a leader was until leading was my only example. 
leading was the only thing that I had to do. Um, I think it was my sophomore year. I think my sophomore or junior year, the whole class that I came in with left, and it was just me and a whole rack of freshmen. So it's like, what do you, what do, you do? Um, I was the youngest on the team, but within a year, I was the oldest on the team. So everybody was looking up to me, so I had to really be mindful in my decision-making, um, my actions on and off the court. Um, as you all know, my freshman year was kind of rocky for me, um, on and off the court, mainly off the court because um, grades. It was a big transition for me from high school to college. It was really extremely hard for me. Um, but I didn't give up. That's the main thing that I didn't do when I was here at Morgan. I never gave up. And the people who I had surrounding me, they never gave up on me, including Coach Bees. Um, and that's why I love him to death. He never gave up on me. So I think I through through everything, I'm I'm a more I'm a better person through everything. Tracy, talk to me about your teammates, uh, relationships over the years, uh, maybe disagreements and battles over the years. Uh, how they've challenged you both as a person and, and, and as, an, as an athlete, and how have they helped to mold what you have become today? Man, um, as I said before, and as you all know, um, every year here for me, I've been faced with a different team, different teammates, um, different personalities. Um, it's been quite an adversity, but it wasn't nothing that I couldn't handle. Um, my teammates are everything. Um, like I said before, I'm just I'm extremely blessed to be a part of a program with 12, 13, or 14 different females, um, different personalities, different type players. Um, it has its highs and its lows. Um, we do kind of get in arguments in practice and off the courtroom, um, in the classroom, at the house, in the apartments. But um, despite everything, it's made us really stronger. Um, the relationships that I'm really closest to, I would have to say, is um, the relationship I have with Diana Jones and Simone Sampson because going into my sophomore year, their freshman year, that's when all my teammates left me. And um, they were the only ones that was closer to me here. And they have been the only ones that's been here with me for three years, they are the only ones that haven't left yet either. So it's just been us, um, Danielle Robinson as well. Everybody else came in after them, and um, we've been pretty good. Like our relationship has grown, um, not only as teammates but as as sisters, as friends, lifetime friends, lifetime sisters, um, including the freshmen now and the sophomores, Ivy and um, the freshmen now. I love them to death. Um, it's weird calling them freshmen, and it was just me three years ago because when I came in as a freshman, I had a lot of seniors to look up to. Um, it was Omara Parker. It was Dakeisha Mathis, um, people of that nature. They were really great leaders for me and helped me mentally um, on and off the court, and now I'm the senior. And now I have people looking up to me, so it's 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 been great. And my teammates, they're wonderful. Um, like I said before, uh, I came across an injury beginning of the year, high ankle sprain, my first ever injury in college. Um, I missed about three weeks, seven games to be exact. That was really mental, but without my teammates, I probably, mentally, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Um, I say that because despite everything, they still have faith in me. Not only my teammates, but my coaches as well. And as soon as I came back, I just picked back up where I left off. And um, they were always there to pick me up and telling me that, they'll be there for me, with or without me on the court, and they played for me. So, got to get them credit for that. Yeah. Ups and downs on the floor uh, as a team. Uh, I know that probably up to this point uh, as a team, it probably hasn't been in terms of uh, ultimate accomplishments uh, what you would like it to be. Uh, as you look back upon your career, are there some moments, some games, uh, some individual circumstances that stand out. I know for me, just a, a couple of years ago in the tournament, uh, when you guys lost that heartbreaker to, to Howard at the buzzer, uh, boy, that was, I just sucked the wind out of my, out of my heart that game. Uh, an opportunity to, uh, to push further f for uh, maybe even a MEAC championship that year. 
Uh, I think all the pieces were in place, and and uh, to lose it as we did at the buzzer had to be difficult. I'm just wondering, as you reflect upon your career, uh, what are some of your memories about highs and lows that you guys have enjoyed and suffered as a team? Um, sophomore year, that was a heartbreaker. We played Howard, lose at the buzzer beater. Um, that right there was by far one of my best seasons here as a team yet, yeah, not including this year. I say that because, like you said, we had all the right pieces. That was, you know how you just had them years when you know that this is your year? That that was our year. Um, we had Bianca Jarrett. That's my left-hand man. That's the Batman of my Robin. Um, then we had we had a lot of seniors, too. We had a, um, It was Bianca Jarrett. We had um, grad school senior Mo. Um, we had Jamie. Um, we had we had a lot of pieces. Then you had me and a couple other freshmen that stepped up. Um, that was the highlight of our season when we um, lost to Howard. Even though it was a heartbreaker, that was kind of a highlight to me because I've never been a part of nothing. I've never been a part of nothing like that in my life. But and to witness it forehand like that, it was it was a blessing. So it was a blessing and a disappointment at the same time. But um. I think it kind of made me stronger. It kind of made me the player that I am now because coming into the next year, my junior year, uh, it was probably one of the lowest points of my college careers. Um, I know I achieved a lot um, individually, but as a whole, as a unit, um, it was really a low point for us because we had lost all the people I just mentioned, Bianca, Jared, um, Mo, Jamie. Um, we lost all of them, and then it was me. I was the only junior. And then a whole rack of freshmen came in, um, and we had, it was it was kind of hard to pick back up where we left off at that high level to pick back up with a lot of freshmen. Um, I think that point that was our rebuilding season, and um, again that made me ultimately stronger for this season. I told my teammates, um, no matter what, no matter how many losses we, how many games that we lost, uh, just make it just make it where as though that you're a better player coming out of this. Try to get better every year. Try to add something different to your game every year. Because my freshman year, my sophomore year, my junior year, my senior year, I went back, I reflected, and I added something different to my game. Like, just make make it make it make you a better person. It's either going to make you or break you. Like I said before, a lot of people that I came in with, they're not here with me. I'm the, I'm the last man standing. Most people can't say that they started as a bear and finished as a bear. I can. So, uh, I, I guess that's... I guess I can say that's the high point for me. Um, I started as a bear, and I finished as a bear, um, and I'm always be a bear. Yeah. Last game today against Cop and last home game, uh, so that uh, probably is a is a visual evidence that you're rounding the home stretch and about to put the uh, the period behind your collegiate basketball career. Uh, talk to me about what you see in that windshield in terms of the future for Tracy Carrington, both both as a basketball player as you round out the rest of this season and Tracy as she moves on beyond Morgan State University. Wow. Uh, first and foremost, um, I think it will be a very emotional game today. Um, I know it's going to be a lot of memories just playing back in my head from the moment I stepped foot on this campus and opened gyms when I was still in high school, coming to be here and me picturing myself here, walking on the campus of Morgan State University. Um, like you said, to the moment I put on the Morgan State jersey and we played Bowie State, um, I think I'm just going to just go out there, just leave it all on the floor. Um, wow, I'm speechless right now. <laughs> I never thought that I'd be here right now on my senior night my last ever college game played at Morgan State and to be able to talk about it. Um, very emotional night for me, but like I said before, I know my teammates going to pick me up even when I'm feeling low. Um, as far as the future, um, I think I'm going to leave that one up to God because um, nothing's never promised, you know, and I'm fortunate I'm fortunate enough to be here at Morgan to to be doing what I love, playing Division One college basketball, but also receiving a degree in May. Um, so that's also a bonus. Um, first one in my family to graduate. So as far as that, it's just opening a lot of doors for me. So 
even if basketball after this is over, I know that I'll be I'll be good. I'll I'll be stable. Um, in whatever field I choose to choose, um, I'll be getting my um, my bachelor's in sociology. So anything in that field, um, whatever opportunity presents itself first, whether it's dealing with basketball going overseas or whether it's somewhere in the work field of sociology. Um, but like I said, I'll always be a bear. Let me just say it's been a pleasure the last four years just uh, watching you play, watching you, how you carry yourself, and watching you grow and, and mature, both uh, on the court and, and off the court. Um, it's been uh, uh, not always something that you can take for granted. There are players that don't necessarily get better uh, as they go from year to year. But uh, truly, you have got better, but you got better on purpose. Uh, and what I mean by that, you put the effort and the work into it uh, in order to uh, elevate your game. And you weren't just satisfied with elevating your game. Uh, you wanted to take all your teammates along for the ride, too, and help elevate the program. And when people talk about Morgan State Lady Bear basketball from this point forward, and they start mentioning the prominent names, uh, your name is going to be one of the first names that will be rolled off of that list because you've truly made an impact on the program and on the institution. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been a fan of me since I was the 17-year-old Tracy who came foot on Morgan State's campus. Um, also have to give credit to Coach B's. Uh, most people don't understand this guy, but I do. Um, I think I needed a coach like that throughout my college years. Um, and most people, when they come here, and they don't really necessarily figure him out that much. They leave. Um, me, I made it up in my mind that I wasn't. Um, and I had that in my mind since I was a freshman. Um, you just got to really understand the guy and understand what he wants. And that's what every head coach. Um, you don't have too many head coaches out here in America that's looking for someone who can score. You know. Um, most coaches try to mold you and make you to the player that they want to make you to be. Um, he accepted me for who I was, and he told me to get better. He told me to work on my left hand, and he told me by the time my senior year came that I will be in the run-ins for player of the year, and that's exactly what happened. Um, so I have to respect him for that and appreciate him and thank him for giving me the opportunity, all the opportunities that I had coming up to my senior year. Um, also, Morgan State University as a whole, and Morgan State Athletics, um, everybody who just stood behind me throughout my four years. Um, I know I kind of disappointed a couple people my freshman year when I was academically ineligible, but um, that was a prime example that um, never lay down. It's easy to lay down. It's hard to, it's hard to keep going, but I kept going. And um, with the support of my family, my friends, my teammates, my coaches, my peers, my colleagues, and everybody here associated at Morgan, they just showed me so much love. And... I think without them, I, I really don't think I would have got through my four years here at Morgan. And uh, I really appreciate Morgan State University. And um, I will always love Morgan. We'll always love you. Um.